we're back we again back. with yet another episode. <laughs> Round of applause. Is that it? <laughs> People in the background cheering. Um, <laughs> we have had an awesome week. We, it's a pretty chill day outside right now. Like, the weather's kind of gloomy. It's cold. It's, it is cold. I don't know what <laughs> happened. It is 34 degrees outside. So, we feeling real homely. Real. Real chill, you know. Um, and, and we don't have makeup on today to add to the chill feeling because we're going to go get massages Yeah. after this. You look so excited. I am so, I'm trying to be, I'm trying, <laughs> like, I'm just, she, she need to hit that pressure point right there and make, like that, I'm going to go to sleep. Yeah, we're getting couples massages because. We deserve it. We deserve it. If you ain't treat if you ain't treating yourself all 2018, you playing yourself. Well, treat yourself for a reason. Without we, we reason. Plan, no, you don't need reason. No, we have planned treat. this. For two months. Oh yes. So <laughs> don't make it sound like we just woke up today and was like, <laughs> we should have. We should have. That's not a bad idea to just wake up the day of and it's like, let's go get him a swatch. Treat yourself. Everybody deserves a a rub down. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So um yeah, so excited for these massages. I had a great week, busy as always. Nothing nothing really changes for the week. The weekend is when we have the most fun. And you know, we break away from it's jobs fun and going to work. Who has fun going to work? Yeah, like who is really like, yes, I'm going to work. Ah, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> like billionaires, probably. But I don't think they go to work. They don't I go to it's work. Just like, it's just show us, up. right? Hello, hello, and you don't even in. do that. Right. You like hire people to go and say hello for you, and the next thing to you represent text, you. Yeah, so email. Yeah. All clear. All clear. <laughs> <laughs> so we just need to be millionaires and then we don't have to work. So if you get on that <laughs> oh, me. and let me, me know I'm going to be there as the okay. support, Oprah, okay? I'm Gail. So go on and do something. Make us a lot of money so I can quit. Wow. <laughs> and you think you know someone. I'm just putting my future in your hands of success and making a lot, lot of money. Trust. <laughs> <laughs> so um, how was your week? It was good. It went by quick. Um, school. Is still school. School is still school. School um, kicks ass. I yeah, mean. It does. And what, what was that that you saw the <laughs> other day? The um, Some guy in class was like, this is the semester that you redeem yourself or the. Oh, it was like um, April is GPA awareness month. Yes. Everybody April, trying to get April is GPA, so GPA awareness month. When you're trying to save yourself. Right. It's like, hey, teach. <laughs> I got these late papers. If you could give me half credit, <laughs> half credit better than no credit. <laughs> so, um, but the summertime is coming. Spring is amongst us. Yes, we have definitely been feeling the spring weather. Getting feeling real dressed, springy. Having brunch. Peach, brunch just feels peaches. like a spring activity. Yes, yes. Brunch is totally spring. I'm down for that. Um, it's just a time that you just want to be out and about mm -hmm. and just be popping. And that's all we're trying to do. All spring traveling, trips, of course. And, you know, work and be responsible. But spring is definitely for brunch. And massages. Treat yourself to a massage. Okay. I ain't gonna mention massage the whole, <laughs> the whole rest of the time. Maybe at the end to, as a reminder. But treat yourself to a <clears throat> massage. So, we're gonna get into it today. Um, <laughs> this, is, this is a topic we are passionate about. Passionate, like, like 90s music videos. Passionate, I want to spinning around in the rain. Passionate, can you stand the rain? Uh, yeah, hey, by me through the good times, the bad times, we will always, always be. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> wow. Cut the check. Put book us at your next event. Okay, so this topic. <laughs> all this, that to say. All that to say, this is a topic we are very passionate about, like 90s R and B kind of passionate. And it is about 
living on your own. Move, my Move. baby. My baby, let them know, Monique. Let I them know. You love us for real. You love us for real. Mm -hmm. You gotta get out your mama's house. Get out of your mama's, mama's house. Me, we say more. That's the episode. Your mama and your daddy, your grandma, your grandma, whoever. sister, cousin. Just live on your own. Live basically. on your own. Yeah. <clears throat> Move out into your own place. Do your own thing. Ain't nobody checking you. And we're talking to like you mid to late twenties. Mm hmm. Yes. There's no reason. There's that no you... reason that you would still be at your parents' house. Yeah. We don't. We have come to the conclusion. The results. The the results are in. There's no reason you should be living at your parents' house mid late twenties, early thirties. That too. Yeah. Yeah. We're we're not. You know. Um. It's something that we have broken away. To, you know, live on our own earlier. And I think something with our generation nowadays is that we kind of just squat in our parents' squat. house. That's a, like squatters. Squatters, yeah. Not like we don't any, really move. Not for any particular reason other than why not? Like, <laughs> like why not just stay there, I guess. But, but we have reasons on why not to stay there. Independence. Freedom. You're an adult. You're an adult. Like, you technically are an adult. Your, your mama parent, wants you to move. Your, your mama wants you to move. <laughs> Amen. Even if um, she don't tell you. Your you mama's leave. mamas wants you to move. Yes, you even if you don't get told, like, Ivy, you need the pack and you need the jack. I didn't have anything else around with pack, but mm -hmm. you need the pack and you need to leave. No one is telling you that. So, you feel that it's okay, I guess, to stay and we don't we don't, don't think so way. no um and we've gotten a lot we've had a few conversations with other people where we tell them how old we are especially Ivy because you know I'm I'm a grandma now <laughs> I'm 26 um which I'm happy wow. to be but <laughs> Uh, tell the story of the, when you had the conversation with that one guy, he was like, oh, when I was 23. Oh, yeah, you know, just talking to different people at work. I think I'm one of the youngest people, um, in my office and people always think I'm like 28, 29, 30, and I'm like, no, I'm 23. Um, but I, I was talking to a guy and I was like, oh, yeah, I live here. This is what I do. And he was like, oh, okay, like, how old are you? And I'm like, 23. And he was like, I'm 32. And at 23. And he's just getting, he's still getting his life together at <clears throat> 32. Right, and I mean, that's just an example that we've kind of made it our decision to get independent early. Like, you yeah. don't have to wait. Yeah, there's to, no time. There's yeah. no, and there's never a right time. The The time is now, you know? Um, when you look to see the kind of things that you have already accomplished and achieved, and one of those things as a priority should be shelter. I mean, you need your own place. Build like a brick house. That's what you need to be living in. Um, whether you move out with friends and still do the roommate thing, I can still okay. I can entertain the roommate thing just just for a little bit. Um, uh, but you need to get out of your parents. You're not down for the roommate thing. The no, face. I think I was laughing. It's the face. No, no, oh, no, no, okay. No. <laughs> I know you're not down for the roommate thing though. I'm not either. I have but a husband, it's so option. it's like not the same. But it is an option. I'm a particular, not person, a personal. <laughs> I be ain't moving in with nobody. Those days are over. <laughs> Never ever again. I mean, if if like your situation. husband, yeah, but your husband's not a roommate. But in no. a roommate sense, you were like but not I, for it. In some situations, not that either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think so. So we have tips. We do have tips. What can you do to live on your own? What are, what are, what what can you do? What does living on your own mean for you? Um, at, at your age to be twenty three, it means black woman out here in America with I'm a fresh haircut. Black woman out here in America with a fresh haircut, and it just to me feels good to be like I'm going to a place that is mine. All of my things are there. All I don't have things. to share space. You don't. You don't have I anybody checking you for the curfew. Yes, the kitchen is never closed. Never. <laughs> The kitchen is never closed. My yes. House. yes. Um, but to me, it's just freedom, independence, home. And it's really a big part of my self-care. I know yeah. that I need alone time. I know I need time to myself. And so my place is where I can just mm -hmm. 
It's mine. Mm -hmm. My mom used to tell me that um, there's nothing like having your own. Yeah. And there isn't. I mean... You know, living at your parents it should always be a temporary situation. We made a vow <laughs> kind of to ourselves that we would never move back in with our parents. Like after we graduated, we lived still, you know, in our college town. And it got to the point that we had to break away from something that we've known for so long to to go and be independent. So even though we didn't come like we're not living with our parents, when we graduated high school, you know, the the typical human thing to do like you go you go to college you leave your parents mm -hmm. and then college preps you for this wonderful adult life well, you're gonna graduate and you're gonna get a job immediately and you're gonna be making tons of money and you're gonna be able to pay all your bills and still get manicures pedicures eye wax lip wax all kinds of stuff and and we found that not to not be true so that is absolutely false yeah so <laughs> after we've been at college our new i guess mother in the in the sense we had to go and make a life for our own and so we we forced and pushed and worked hard to be independent to where we had our own place because we wanted to experience kind of what our parents already experienced but mm -hmm. no one really tells you how to get there I think you just expect it right. that it's you kind of just like, get your own stuff. It's expected that <laughs> no one you, teaches you anything. You go to college. It, I mean, and this is what what you're told. You go to college. You get the job. You move. You get your own stuff. Or you know, there's no manual. Yeah, nothing. You have to have like money. Money. Enough money. No one gives you the money. No one gives you the money. You have to know percentages of things you should be spending with spending. Right. Like no one. And so it's like logistics to this. This is a a plan. Not something that's like, oh, you graduated. Here go all those things that life now you adult. would give you. Right. So now you're adult and you don't really know how to elevate. And that's, that's what we're here for. We're here for we you. you. Book us at your next event. Okay, so we have five tips <laughs> for um, moving out your mama's house. Number one, assess the situation. Definitely. Your current situation that you're in right at this moment, what does that look like? You know? And really, why are you at your parents' house? Yes. You have to ask yourself, you know, am I here because I'm working a certain job so that I can pursue a dream later? Or I'm working on some things that's going to put me in a different position later? Are you are you at your mom's house because why not be there? She's not telling you to leave. Your daddy's not telling you. Probably not paying any leave. bills. You're not paying any bills. You're doing the things you want because you're not mm -hmm. paying any bills. Mm -hmm. And it's like, why would I leave this to right. pay to pay bills? <laughs> Weird. Why would we leave that to pay bills? Because, you know, sometimes it has, <laughs> it has its moments. It's like, you want this money for this electricity today, today not tomorrow? <laughs> so, yeah. So, assess your situation. What is keeping you there? What has kept you there? And, of course, everything starts in the mind. Like, with, with changing and really being realistic with what your circumstances look like now, you're working, you have a car, and the place you live is with your parents, then, okay, like, you have the things that you can make it back and forth to work, and, um, and, you know, and you're able to live a fruitful life within the means of, of your income, and living on your own is possible. Anything else for the social situation? No, I think you did wonderful. With you that. thought I said it? Okay, okay. Yeah, you out here social working them. Am I social working the we people? We action planning for the people. Action plan. That's it. That's all this is, people. It's just an action plan with, with a few little tips, little razzle dazzle, little pep in your step. <laughs> Number two is our favorite question, and a question that you have to ask yourself throughout the whole process. Right. What's the budget looking like? Where's the money? What is the budget? What is... Because people want to get paid, people believe it or not. Paid. They will cut it off. They cut it. Oh, like yeah. They cut it off. And then charge you there's to no turn cent, it back on. There's no... Yeah. Mm. Charge you to go pay the guy to come turn it back on. There's no, like, sympathy. No. Fun. You get a little grace period, though. That's nice. They help you out to your next check in a lot of cases. So, what is the budget looking like? What are you making now? What are you bringing in now? And, you know, talking about once you do move, that budget changes dr drastically. Drastically. So, you want to look at, you know, right now you may be staying with your parents. And so, it's like, oh, you know, sometimes I put in on groceries. Right. But you have to have internet. 
You don't have to. Internet you don't is have to, but that but is that for our generation, it's you have to have internet. Everything you do is over the intrawebs, so get the yeah. internet. But um, it's still not a necessity. We're just kidding. You need food in the house. You need electricity. You know, water. And then you still want to be able to do the things that you enjoy doing, like... Right. Yeah, it's not super fun to have all your bills paid and be in the house. Although it's a good thing. It's not it bad It is thing, a good thing. It but is it's a good not thing. like, man, I really wish I could go to the movies or something. Right, right. Just having a little a little extra fun, a little extra curricular fun, a little sprinkle of some funds over there so you can go do the extras. Yes. So, um, you know, something to assess now is what bills you probably already paid living with your parents or living with whoever. And then <clears throat> you can... Get deeper into how much you would want to pay. What does the average person pay for electricity in a one-bedroom apartment? Like, you can estimate and kind of finagle those numbers around to see what a picture looks like when you actually move out into the community. Yeah. I sound like I work here in their zone. Into the, into the moving out into the community. When you move out into the world, to society. So, um... So you can assess those things and really see, you know, is it real? Are you in a position to realistically move out at this point? Or is it going to take another job or a side mm -hmm. hustle or something to be able to do that? And it, it sounds like, why would I want to change my situation if I have everything yes. just the way it is? But there's something about being independent. Something about knowing that all the bills that come to this house are in my name. Right. You know, bills paid like I don't have to ask anybody for anything I don't have to rely on other people right. and that's not to say that I haven't had help to get where I am but at this point I pay nothing and, and, and that sounds really comfortable I think also to piggyback on that is that that is just the life cycle yeah you gonna build? It's just part of development. I don't know what else to say besides it's actual science behind it in a sense. Like, mm -hmm. that's just what you do. Right. You're like, what, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Okay? Like, this little generational span. Yeah. Get out of your mama's house. You're in that part of the bracket. If you're not already living on your own, that's what you need to be. That's, that should just be a goal. Um, and because we do live on our own, it's something that feels good. Mm -hmm. And we want everyone to feel good. We want everyone to <laughs> feel me. Don't get me started again. I'm down the road. Feel the fire. Yeah, so we want people to feel the fire when you actually live on your own and you're in your own space. And you can even practice paying bills if you are at your parents' house and they're taking care of most everything. Just get you some little mail-in envelopes and every month just get in the habit, even if it's yes. only $20 that you put, but making mock bills and yeah. preparing yourself to pay bills because guarantee when you, you know, you have to manage, well, I don't get paid till the 18th, but this is due five days before, so am I going to save that from the first pay period? Like, right. There's so many things that you have to factor in mm -hmm. when you're on your own because then everything falls on you. Everything is your responsibility. Yes. The lease is in your name, the bills are in your name, and you're going to be the person that they're going to be looking to for the money. So you want to make sure that you have positive um, spending and saving habits, and that can be something that you work on in the assessing your situation portion mm -hmm. and just say, okay, well, what do what I need to doing? work on? What right. do I need to be more consistent on to right. be able to prepare myself to take care of myself? And that leads us into our third tip. Are you interested or are you committed? Yeah. Like, really taking out the time of assessing, is this what you want to do right now? Like, don't talk about it, be about it. Because this is going to be about action. This is going to be about, you know, change and pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone that you haven't been, you haven't challenged yourself in. Because, you know, this is our first step of taking that, that step towards independence. So... Are you interested? It sounds good on paper, but you ain't really trying to make any changes. Right. It sounds good to You're tell people, yeah, I'm working on it. Different. I'm working on moving yes. out. I'm, yes. get, I'm getting some things together. Yeah. Is it the sound of commitment that, that intrigues you or is it the action of being committed that intrigues you because they're two different things, you know, because mm -hmm. don't talk about it, be about it. Yeah, and That's you know, it. you don't want to move on your own just for the fact to tell people, oh yeah, I live you on live my on your own. own. Right. I want to live on my own because I'm trying to come to home to my <clears throat> own. Home to what? <laughs> Put it on the shirt. Put it on the shirt. Home to me. my own. Home to my own. I mean, like yes, I I felt that in my spirit. <laughs> you trying to come home to your 
own. To your own. It's nothing like you're working hard. Um, and you get off, you tie, your feet, you know, they a little sweaty. You just need... Just a little bit, you know. Um, you have to take a shower. And you come to your own place to do all of that. You don't feel like you're impeding on anybody's space. You don't feel like you're taking away anybody's feeling, privacy. That's a feeling. When you, like... You don't have to say anything. And everybody just has the elephant in the room of, we want you to leave, you need to leave. And you just won't and leave. You just won't. <laughs> you just what? Leave. What's that? What the What's that? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, um... So, yeah, are you committed or are you interested? That's a good one. So, number four, cut some shit out. Cut it out. Cut it. Cut it. You know, cut when it. we were making that transition to um, move or to, you know, get on Just your own. Just start on our own. Mm -hmm. It's like, so what can you take out? So, you cut down that grocery bill. Mm -hmm. um, and Ooh. I'm a luxury eater. Very, I very, very bougie. Okay? Like... Yes, can I get salami at the Central Market? I take a number and I stand in line. And, wait and you like that salami that number. I buy from Central Market. This besides the point. <laughs> um, so for me, Whole it's like foods. cutting down that, like, cut it down. Yeah. You, don't, you don't have to have salami, cheese, grapes, and wine every snack. Oh. Right, I still don't think you've grasped that concept though at all. I don't. You still working on that? Okay, some things are just <laughs> you just keep working on it. Right. Um, you know. We like nails, toes done, Dude. eyebrows Ooh. waxed, massages. And I will so. say our mentor, she that's where she struggled with us the most see, to really see, to, you see you see the, the manicure nails, but anyways, that's where she struggled with us the most to get us to understand mm -hmm. like you have to stop certain luxuries and things that are not gonna be helpful to getting you and it's like, but, to the well, next I don't do but I don't it's want like, to. Oh, then you don't want this girl. Then so you what don't are we want talking it. about? Right, right. And she would tell us all the time that you can't keep all that you have and like be where, be, be where all you that be. you want to be. You have to sacrifice something in the middle right. to get to what get you're to, to get. where. Yeah, and you gotta you gotta do something you don't want to do to get to where you want to be. And that was hard for us. And it was no nails, hard. no manicures. You see these brows. You see, you see the trimmed brow? None of that. No brow. Walking around looking like Sasquatch. Had so much hair on my lip. <laughs> I could braid it. I had a little mustache. We couldn't do any of that. Eating out. No, what is that? Out, buying, what was that? Shopping and you know I like. What is shopping? Yeah. I like a shop. A shop? I like a shop. You want the money or no? Where the discount codes? Um, yes. You know, and Shopping. it's just sacrificing and saying, yeah. okay, you know, I'm going to, for these next six months, only have the bare minimum bare that I minimum. need to, to get, to propel myself to, to be where I want to be. Yes. Yes. It's kind of like, um, where you, oh, this, this is our next one too. So not to move too fast ahead. But I remember when Nathan and I moved out on our own into our first apartment together and we had ramen noodles and hot links. Almost every night. And chips. And chips. Every night. Like chili dogs. Mm -hmm. Or uh, what else? Like just like, a, get, like stuff that makes a lot. A lot. And it's like cheap. And we had $50 a week to go grocery shopping with. Only $50. And like to feed two people. And then I don't think we were meal prepping or anything. We would just like take a link to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> A link. <laughs> a link sandwich to lunch with chips or we were like fry link sandwiches like we were so what felt to be just so poor like we just didn't have hmm. the funds or the money but we had our own place it and that's so what mattered it was ours we I mean we didn't have much in the fridge but we came home we paid rent we paid our bills we got all the things that we wanted and, and we just lived and you know I didn't go get my nails done and all that for a long 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 time um and it was, I mean, it was great. I think that was the moment that, that's where you grow. That's where right. you feel humble because. And you build those habits of, no, I gotta, you know. Because you don't want to get in the habit of rearranging your bills to be late on stuff. So right. then that's when you get in the habit of those positive spending habits of, yeah. you know, okay, well, if I save this much from this check, when they auto draft it out, it's already there. Don't have to worry right. about it. Don't right. have to rob Peter to pay Paul type right. of thing. Um, and so then when you do, when you are in a better financial situation, mm -hmm. um, um, then it's like, oh, okay, I'm all, I already know what I gotta do. Right, right. So cut the so cut the things out. Just just cut it out. 
When I first moved into my first apartment, I did not have a couch for six months. Yes, this leads us into our fit. Oh, is this these topics, these this tips is just flowing. flowing. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that was the next one. You know, you type it out. I just. We just flowing. So before you tell the cow story, because I, I was there. Our fifth topic <laughs> is um started from the bottom and we're here. So this is once we've We're you know, still at the bottom, let's just be clear. We're, we're just still at the bottom. Less bottom year. Yes, less bot less bottom year. Put that on the shirt. Um so after you've like kind of worked these tips and everything, and you've cut things, you've saved, we're moving. Just know you don't have to have Everything. Everything you don't because that that can be a barrier or a block to officially move out is by saying, Well, I don't have a bed, I don't have furniture, I can't afford cable. Mm -hmm. Don't let that stop you. Still move out, like still budget mm -hmm. to get that deposit, budget for your moving expenses. We didn't yeah. mention that budgeting yeah. for the moving it's expenses. It's only so long you can use your friends. I like yeah, they won't move so you. Long. They won't you gonna have to you gonna have to pay professionals to, right. to help move. And even if you ain't got nothing to move, all the even better. better. Even better. Please that's move, less, move what's in your mama's room. Cause that's technically her room. Move what's in your mama's room into your place and then fill it. So start it from the bottom. Start like you literally yeah. start from the bottom with a bed. They give you a fridge <laughs> at the, at a the bed, apartment, you know, and you know, get you and some probably the bins from Walmart to put your bins. little clothes in. Yes, and get with the little drawers, the little colorful ones, yeah. until you can get real furniture. And yeah, or Tell you know, about the furniture. Ask your family because you know. People are willing oh, to help yeah. people they feel like are... Are like moving. doing something yeah. positive. Yeah, So, you for know, sure. my grandpa bought my bedroom set when I moved <clears> to my first apartment. That's what I wanted for a graduation gift. And that really helped to set me up. But ask your family. Mm -hmm. You never know what they have in storage or what they've been trying to get yes. rid of. Trying to remodel. Like, you can put some Or what they're together. willing to buy for you. Yeah. What they're willing to... Um, fine for you, fine, like as yeah. other people, yeah. and your apartment doesn't have to look. Go like to the HGTV. thrift store. You know they you have know. couches on sale at the thrift. It doesn't have to look like it HGTV. doesn't have to be. Eventually, it can Eventually, and it will. Yes. But from the basic, it doesn't have to be this grand thing because the point is you just obtaining it, and then you fill it with all of these things mm -hmm. that shows your progression of when you first started. Like you didn't have a couch, right? And that we sitting on a sectional. Oh, we see no that. Wow, this is such a nice couch. This is nice furniture, and you got another TV. You went from that little baby TV, the little baby TV, and th and now she got a. Oh, you see them fingers, you baby. Oh, we got one of those broke, TVs. So I had to buy it. It broke, but it's still upgraded. So you you do start from the bottom. Yeah, and um, you just and move on up. And you appreciate it more. Like yes. when you can really, you know, be in an apartment and be like, man, I remember when I first moved in here, I literally had a mattress on the floor. Mm -hmm. Now I got, you know, a table. I have me some dishware. Yeah, um, dishware. I love dishware. You love, you love a good lot of things. <laughs> a good shop, a good dishware, a good uh, salami. Wow. Yeah. You uh -oh. expensive. <laughs> High maintenance. <laughs> I'm tired of hearing that. You tired of hearing <laughs> it? You didn't put the day my fault. I don't know what <laughs> Probably because the universe is telling you something. You should, but that's good though. That's what motivates you. Oh, you had a problem with <laughs> yeah. me touching your shoulder? Because I'm not judging I'm you. Man, I would just like to say that case. because of Ivy, I've been the Smoothie King like three times in the past week and a half. And I don't think I'm high maintenance. I think I'm particular. I like certain oh, things. Oh, that's what high maintenance You know, I'm an influencer. I influence other people to do what I do and I can't. Oh, you me. a trendsetter. That's what high, me high maintenance people say. No. I'm particular. And I take care of myself. I'm high maintenance, but I take care of my high maintenance ass. So. You do. You do. I, you know, I, I'll give you that. Okay. You just making it hard for me to live out here, just trying to try, <laughs> try the things you've tried, and then I like them, and then it's like, wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, something else that we would like to mention, and I think is good. So with the started from the bottom, and now we're here. Um, when you've like worked through, and you know that you worked hard to get to where where you want to be, you won't let anyone take that away from you. You'll yeah. be disciplined. You'll be committed because you love living this certain lifestyle and all those things that you cut out, you slowly add them back in. Right. That's something else to understand too is that the, the struggle is temporary. The but struggle is temporary. Process. It's always a process 
And the struggle part of the process is temporary. Like, it's just, it's the storm that you have to get through until you get to the rainbow. And then it makes the whole, and then you, like, forget about the storm. Like, it makes it all that much worth it when you've just struggled for a small amount of time, was diligent, was committed, was disciplined. You know, you couldn't do the, the brunch and stuff with friends. You can't get your nails done. You, you can't pay for those subscriptions. Like, about girl stuff. I mean, you can't hang oh, out well, with see, friends. Oh, well, see, we do brunch. So, so in general, you can't go hang out, out with friends. You can't things. go out. And that's just for a small amount of time until you get to where you want to be. And then you just slowly expand that. And a good thing about struggle is you don't really notice you struggled until you're looking back and being yes, like, damn. Yes. Because when you and Nathan were spending $50 on groceries, when I was, you know, trying to cut back on groceries, it was like, okay, this that's is just so the bad. way of life at that but time. But now you look back and it's like, I spent $200 on the groceries and I don't know who, how I ate on that. Exactly. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> like two people, um, we like $200 a month on groceries compared to now how much we spend on groceries. Wow, like, and life just elevates you and upgrades you along the way that all you have to do is just stick to it. Promise. Yeah. That's it. Be so committed. So, be committed. Like, put it out there in the universe that you want to move out, you want to be on your own, and work at it. And be about it. I mean, yeah. you, know, you know. Like, really it. do it because it's your duty to society. And okay. when you're passionate about something, you will notice yourself make those changes. So yes. you'll notice the small things. Of, like, you're trying to go out. Nah, man, I'm trying really to save that 40, 50 bucks. Yes. Um, and like she said, once you obtain it and you live on your own, you will always fight to, to keep the lights on. To keep on, it. To keep yeah. what you have. Because the thought of moving into somebody else's space. It, 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 it killed. What? I no, imagine. I could. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Unless, um, and not, Unless this is excluding those extreme circumstances. I'm talking about just because you weren't on top of your, your things and mm -hmm. you just let the responsibility get, get out of hand. And now you have to find somewhere else to live. So yeah, no. Cause once you get it, it's yours and you want it. So, and I think that's how life keeps elevating and propelling you forward too, because it's like, Oh, okay. That's how bad you want it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So now you're ready to move on to the next level. And we're going to see how bad you want it. And then you're ready to just keep on poop, poop, poop. So then you go from no couch to a couch to a sectional. There you go. That was it. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. So um, that that's what we have for you guys today. Um, and feel free to let us know. Like, again, we love feedback. Love commentary. Yeah, let love us know talk. if you use our tips, if you have tips that we don't have. Um, we'd love to hear them. Tag people that you feel like could use this information. Mm -hmm. um, if there's something that you guys feel like we should talk about, we're down to talk. Down to talk. Um, so, you know, let us know. We are always wanting to talk to you guys. Yeah. Well, we're about to um, go eat. And then we're gonna go get um num yo ho re kick yum num ho yo re And you know num yo ho re kick yo We love y'all for real. We love y'all for real. <laughs> Thank you like, for watching. Share, subscribe, comment, give us love. We'll give it back. Love yourself. Um and, and y'all you... have a... oh. oh go ahead and hit them with go ahead and hit them with And you can be happy without everything going your way. Peace.